everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if we have not met my name is Christina Alexa I am a real estate agent here in Las Vegas Nevada on this channel I post a ton of new construction neighborhood tours um, drive with me's which is what we're doing today and a lot of house tours as well yesterday I posted on my community tab here on the channel what y'all wanted to see next and the top voted was another little driving tour neighborhood tour I actually love these these are probably my favorite videos to film if not like Summerlin new construction but we just did a bunch of that as we saw so today I'm gonna take you on an inside look of the southwest communities that are coming to town so one thing that I have to do as an agent in Vegas is just be very very proactive because a lot of times the new construction um, communities don't necessarily advertise until they're about to, you know, actually have a model home to show and have like their pricing pinned down and everything. So what I have to do to stay proactive and what I like to do is get off the freeway and go street by street sometimes and kind of just like weave around neighborhoods, see who's building where. Um, a lot of times the uh, parcels of land that the new construction communities come on are not as big as one would like notice like from the freeway and I was here in the southwest just last week kind of doing that weaving in and out and I found three or four different communities that are coming to town and I know who the builders are because of the signs up and everything like that I don't know yet uh, the price points, the type of home, whether it's going to be townhouse, tri-level, single fam. We're going to find out together. Right now, I'm on Russell and Buffalo. I'm actually at a community park as well, so that's where we're going to be starting. And I'm going to show you around town. So buckle up. We're going to open the sunroof. I've got my matcha. We're going to go for a little drive together. And this is where I spend a lot of my day, honestly, here in Vegas. So let's go on a neighborhood driving tour the sunroof open for our drive it's beautiful weather right now here in vegas let me show you the park that we're at i'm gonna flip the camera and we're just gonna do a little pov okay you guys i'm definitely doing my absolute best in getting the clearest photo for you guys but i'm also driving and safety first no act there's not i'm not gonna you know risk getting in an accident just for a a video so here we are starting at this is called echo trail park uh here in the southwest as i said off russell and buffalo and i pulled here pulled over to start here because i thought it was just a really nice cute little neighborhood park that is definitely going to get a lot more good use out of it in the years to come because over here off buffalo there are two um neighborhoods yeah that's a good angle um there are two specific neighborhoods that i already see like are very obvious to be built and then there's like two more in the in the neighborhood like in the streets right here let's be safe on to buffalo so now i'm going southeast bound and i want to show you a couple different projects going on on this street so again i'm on buffalo here in the southwest so immediately to the left obviously you see this new construction it's not yet released um i haven't been able to find out a ton of information yet about them but they are single family residentials and then this neighborhood right here and these were all built in the recent years like in the 2020 and newer years so we know that it's going to be you know matching concise with those neighborhoods and then another neighborhood right here they already have those fires up so this is on the right this is Pulte homes and i'm gonna see how much i can get into this neighborhood i'm gonna make a right um up on this street again this is buffalo and before there was literally not much here and now there's a ton of stuff I'm gonna go right here so I can um, show you the other side of what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm making a right on Patrick and all of these neighborhoods actually were all recently built in like the 2020s here on the right hand side. I'm lying, the ones in front, these are all older. These are all like 2020, um, these are all like 1990s. All right, here we go. This is exactly the street that I found yesterday. The house is for sale. It's actually, it needs some work in it. So this is another case of like, hey, if you're planning to move to Vegas in the future, um, 
new construction might just be the move. Okay, yeah, look at this is all what I wanted to show you. Right here, just like in this neighborhood, there's actually the post office way up there, and that park we're at is way, way up there. So we can see the other side. These are looking like tri level single family residentials here in um, the southwest, and we're just literally in the neighborhoods now. Main streets are Buffalo and Russell, but we're in the neighborhoods and now I'm gonna go and again, you're you're discovering with me. I did pass by another, I believe I'm going on the right street. I did pass by another new construction community the other day when I was exploring around here. Here we go. So these are, uh, these have actually been here. These ones to the right. These are actually new homes for rent. Um, I have such strong opinions about the new homes for rent I'm, and, and, and I'm not gonna highlight them. I'm not interested in that. Uh, the reason I have really strong opinions about new homes for rent is because it keeps, it keeps, um, it keeps a certain demographic of people always as renters. I really I feel so sick about new homes for rent because it gives the illusion of, um, well, I know not everyone's ready to buy a home, and I definitely understand that. It gives the illusion of getting into a new home, but renting. And we both know the reason you watch my channel is because home ownership is such a key path into wealth. So new homes to rent, I absolutely am not a big fan of that because it, 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 it creates the cycle of always, always, always renting and renting and renting and thinking that you, oh, I have a new house, but you're renting. You're not building up, you know, your wealth through equity and owning a house. Anyways, I didn't even realize I was gonna pass by those. What I wanted to show you was right in front of me, so let me show you now what I found. This new neighborhood that we don't know it, what it's gonna be yet. So here, what are we on? We're on Oak Oquinado and Cimarron here in the southwest. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Um, this is all new. So when I passed by here, like last week, there was obviously I think they all went home, but all the construction guys were here, and I was like, oh, what's going on here? And there is a. Um, a sign up front that it's owned by Pulte as well so um we know that there i i've sold a few Pulte homes at this point and they're actually really really good i really like working with Pulte the builder um but obviously we don't know yet if it's going to be a single fam residential townhouses three levels what the story is with that um we are right by the durango casino and the ikea and all of the out of town anyway so that's really exciting where commercial new construction goes residential all, all uh often follows so we see you know they're getting ready to put in a new community there and then this is just more of the southwest area um where are we going to spit out we are on west patrick lane right now there's a little charter school oh let me go let me slow down Oof. Is it a school zone speed limit? Cause I'm going way too fast. Oops, nobody stopped me. If it is, all right. So in here, all these houses are a little bit older in the nineties, no new construction there, but look at across the street. This is all undeveloped. And I, I'm sure if I go and I, and I search and I dig in the assessors website that there's gonna be um, someone who's buying that. Oh God, I wanna know where else I was. I'm gonna go left here on Durango. Um, if you're not familiar just yet with everything going on here in the Southwest, let me get you up to speed. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the all the everything happening here in the Southwest of Las Vegas, it's just golden hour right now. I just pulled into a um, random neighborhood just to see what's up. I'm actually gonna close this because this is too sunny on my face. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so if you're not, there we go. Okay, so if you're not familiar with everything happening right now in the Southwest of Las Vegas, over the last 12 plus, I would say like 12 months, strongly the last 12 months, a lot of amazing developments have come to town, including kind of what's the epicenter of it is, is the Durango Casino. So I'm in like the neighborhoods all around Durango Casino, and I've said in multiple other videos, a ton of new construction is happening here around this town. Okay, I pulled into, 
Coast Road, if you're following me, um, in Vegas. And these are all apartments. Oh, and this is a dead end. Okay, so we are going to skid out of here. We're making a Yui. Skirt. Did not realize this was nothing. Um, and the reason why so much is happening here in the Southwest is because what's next to the Southwest is Summerlin. And Summerlin is it's done it's out of space like obviously it's not done being built but all of the plans for the next couple the next decade surely are pretty much already are already solidified and done um and then the other set of town that i highlight a lot here is the northwest northwest is definitely still booming i love the northwest it's actually where my next uh few videos are going to be because i feel like i haven't been given the northwest love as much okay this is a cute little rental neighborhood to be fair these are like townhouses and condos and i'm here on post road all right we are gonna find some more neighborhoods coming to town for them for all of y'all i know a lot of y'all are buying in 2025 because i just got a couple inquiries last week and it was two different people two different um inbound clients and it was from youtube that's where i got all my business and both of y'all were like both of that both, both of these clients were like hey i just want to um touch base with you i'm planning on buying like q1 which is quarter one of next year what can i do now um i have x amount you know saved up for the down what can i do now um for the you know for like to further prepare any tips and stuff like that so if you're not aware you could always reach out to me in advance and i will basically evaluate where you're at where you're at your situation and give you my best tips and best practices for yourself um do so using the form in the description the phone almost just fell <laughs> okay y'all i am let me show you where i'm at all right, so we are still on Durango, a little bit past the casino. This is all just to show you. There's just businesses, gas stations, a lot of quick, uh, quick bites. This right here is actually a really nice condominium community. I've taken a few clients in there, actually. Uh, all these condos are in the 300,000s. It's a nice little gated condo community here on Durango. We got Jamba Juice. We got Chiba Hut, Duncan on the left. Um, there's a discount tire. There's a Jiffy Lube. This is a lot of Just a lot of like small businesses here, you know, like the big chain businesses and I'm going to see what we come across if any Going down one more street here southbound on Durango in Las Vegas As you can see, there's just a ton more businesses here on Durango and a lot of, oh, actually there's a good Chinese spot in there. Me realizing where I'm at. Okay, so we are pulling up actually at the end of Durango to Rhodes Ranch, and you can clearly see the sign. Rhodes Ranch is right over here. It is a really nice, uh, it's a little aged now, I'm not gonna lie, a little aged, but Rhodes Ranch is what the Southwest kind of was known for before it had like all of everything else it has now because everything it's got now um, is, has like come to fruition the past um couple years so in there rose ranch you can kind of see the gates um it's a guard gated community and it has single family residentials primarily in the god i wouldn't even know what their price in now they're definitely like five six seven hundred thousand um in there but i actually haven't been into rose ranch in a long time if i'm being very honest it used to be really really popular i'm sure it still is but I haven't had a client like want to come look at Rhodes Ranch in a while. And I'm going to go left on this street that we're coming up on, which should be Rainbow. Is this Rainbow? No, this is Robindale. That's what I meant. Robindale, Robindale. Cool, cool, cool. There's a school around here, though. Somewhere. 
Whoa, a lot of fire truck. Let him through. Oh my god, you guys need to stop. Why are you guys driving? Thank you. All right, Clark County Fire Department coming through. Now everyone can go. Yes. It's so funny that people don't know how to react, which I get it. I, I, I feel like sometimes, oh my God, he's turning around. What is, do you guys, <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he made the wrong turn. What's happening, poor guy? All right, make my left here. Okay, so now we're on Robindale and Durango for all my out-of-towners here in Las Vegas. I know that there's a school zone, I mean, I know because I just see the kids and stuff walking out, so there has to be a school coming up on this street. So to the left here is another park that's James Regional Park. It's a it's a pretty big park here in Vegas. They do, um, like, city, city, uh, what's it called? City community events like from the city of um, Las Vegas in there sometimes or at least they just did this past weekend again more of like nothing which we know that's eventually going to be developed and I have a sense that the school yeah this I'm coming up with the school right now I don't know why this guy's going so slow is it because it's a school zone already I don't want to get in trouble okay okay so we're passing by what is this um Sierra Vista High School on the left hand side and you can't really see let me move this camera. It's a little bit difficult for me to drive and film because my safety is my priority as I've been telling y'all. But on the left, I promise there's a big high school <laughs> that we're passing by and the fire station. And this is a, um, a Mormon temple. Oh, okay, perfect. I know exactly where we are now. We are going northeast bound. And now this is Buffalo. Okay, so we're ending up back on Buffalo. I wanna get to Rainbow. Should I go left? Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna proceed forward to see where that takes me. So this is the Nevada Trails community on both the left and right. And it's actually some really nice homes with some larger lots here. Again, we're on Robindale, and then this is just a neighborhood that is off of Buffalo here in the southwest of Las Vegas. This is a driving tour. All right, Nevada Trails is slowly coming to an end. Um, just kidding, I guess this is like the last entrance of it. As you can see, Nevada Trails, ah! I don't know who has a stop and who doesn't. I did not though, okay. Here we go, here's the school zone. 25 miles an hour. Let me slow my little butt down. There we go. Two miles an hour so everybody sees me. I know you guys know. If you know that song, then you're you're funny. You're cool. And we'd get along. All right, I'm slowing it down for the school zone. And my goal is to end up on Rainbow. Because Rainbow is one street away from Buffalo. And Rainbow, I know, also has a lot of new businesses and such. Is this Rainbow? Yes, this is, is this, yes, this is Rainbow. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to make a left here. Excuse me. Oh, just kidding. Guy's not going to let me make a left. That's crazy. Yes, he did. He's so nice for that. Thank you. Okay, so at this point, we are on Rainbow and Robindale. So this is Rainbow, and then this is Robindale. What I'm driving on is Robindale, and what we're going across is Rainbow. I'm going to show you me going, what would that be? That would be northbound on, um, yeah, northbound on Rainbow because there's a new coffee shop. There's a new Pete's Coffee, which is a chain if you're not familiar, here um, in the Southwest as well. I just want to show you more of what's going on. And I know it's actually been open for a few months now, but there's another KB Homes community, which is in the 500s by another little park. I believe off of one of these streets. I can't remember it right now. All right, here we go, our northbound on Rainbow. So once again, this is, it goes Rainbow, then Buffalo, then Durango. Those are like the three main big, huge streets uh, here in this part of the Southwest. 
that I'm showcasing today. Obviously the Southwest is quite a bit bigger than just these three streets, but I wanted to show you there are always, there's just so much um, amenities and all of these quick, uh, I say quick little businesses, but what I mean is like, you know, like the Domino's, the, um, the Cafe Rio, the Chipotle, all of that like kind of stuff um, here. When I say quick little businesses, it's just like the, the most convenient, the CVS, the CVS's of the world and whatnot. And I am correct. I'm going to turn on to Mardon Avenue. Shout out my little map right here for helping me. So we're on Rainbow right now. We're turning on to Mardon Avenue because there's a KB community just to the left in there that I want to show you. Okay, great. I'm in my left. There's that big Sprouts uh, farmer, uh, Sprouts Farmer's Market, Sprouts Farmer's Market type of store. This is actually, ah, this is actually a Cafe Lola. If you guys are not familiar, um, that's owned by this really popular woman on Instagram. Um, here's another cute little park across the way here. This is called, I have no idea what this park is called. I'll find out on the screen. So this is the local community park for these brand new neighbor this brand new neighborhood right here by kb so we're gonna turn into it and hopefully none of my tires get a nail okay cute so they've got the model home open and i will put all the information on the screen and this is your little neighborhood right here in the southwest so if you were to move here you definitely need to make sure that you fill out the form that's in my description so we can come here together because there's a lot of negotiating you can do with kb um as far as picking out your lots picking out um, your specific lot where your home is built picking out certain colors of your home and just making sure that you get the best service that you can oh, I, I like the exterior of those homes of this home i like the exterior and right across the street is your park and then you have a a sprouts and all of the staples of life to the left okay i'm gonna actually go to this park really quick okay so that is just a little inside look of what las vegas looks like right now once again if you're not from here all of the streets that we toured today were rainbow buffalo and durango those are three main streets if you're not aware vegas is on a grid system anyways regardless of what side of town you're on and so we have like a dozen main streets going you know lo lo if you know what this is, longitude and a dozen main streets going latitude. I hope you know what this is, horizontal and vertical. So a lot of times when you move here, people ask you like, oh, where do you live? And what they mean is like reference those, those couple of dozen main streets that you live off of, whether it be Charleston, Sahara, Town Center, or Rainbow Durango Buffalo, such as this. Um, Warm Springs is around here as well. I really hope you enjoyed today's neighborhood tour. Let me know what you want to see next. I post a video nearly every single day here on this channel. I'm ready to work for you. I'm happy to serve you and bring you the latest real estate news. If you're looking to hire an agent, make sure you fill out the form, which is always, always, always the link in my description, only link in my description. So that way you can contact me. We can get to know each other, see if we're a good fit, and I can help you on your real estate journey. Thank you very, very much for watching. Later on throughout the week, we are going to explore the Northwest and downtown. Um, my uh, brokerage actually has a really nice uh, flip property. You guys know I've been kind of working with some uh, rehabs lately. Um, we have one coming to market downtown that I cannot wait to show you. It's almost ready. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you want to stay in touch. It's at ChristinaAlexa21. You can see a little bit more of like my inside personal life there as well. And I'll see you tomorrow.